Hey everyone, welcome in a new episode of Stephen's Week. Uh, good to have you again on the show and I'm happy to give you your four or five minute update on marketing tech and customer experience. Welcome. And let's continue with one of the topics that we've been talking about quite a lot in the last few episodes. That's the battle of the new interface. You know, if as smartphones are reaching the end of a cycle and uh, the incremental innovation with each new release is getting smaller and smaller, companies are looking what the next huge interface will be. And many experts believe that something like Amazon Echo or Google Home could be the next big thing, that you have a device in your living room or in your house that you talk with, with natural language processing, and that they execute um, orders, let's call it, like that, orders for you. Now this week we saw the news that Apple is also planning to make something like this, uh, also gonna go into the battle of the new interface, and at least that is what Apple analysts are saying, uh, because Apple is always very secretive about it. But according to those analysts, this could be something that blows the other off the table. So I have to be honest, I'm really looking forward to have these devices available in Europe. Like Amazon Echo is already really big in the US, but we still don't have it in Europe. So I'm looking forward to trying them out myself. Second item that was quite spectacular is uh, news about a partnership between Microsoft and Facebook and they're gonna wire the ocean. So they're gonna put a huge wire underneath the ocean between the US and Europe. And it's gonna be almost 7,000 kilometers long. And the goal is to speed up internet. And uh, they, they say there's a growing need for faster and faster connections. And this wire should help the world to, to make that happen. That's pretty big. A few years ago, every company was talking about building an app. Well, today, almost every company is talking about building a bot, especially since Facebook released their bots a few weeks ago. You see more and more about this. Now, there's this new company that's called Motion AI, and they believe and they, they claim that everyone could make their own chatbot in just a very, very easy way. Their fantastic quote is, if you can draw a org chart, you can make your own chatbot. So you see that these things, they're only a few weeks old, and it's already becoming huge. And I, I, I meet a lot of big companies now that are really thinking about how they're gonna launch their first bot and what the opportunities are for this. And it's gonna be faster and easier than apps were. So I think this will have a huge penetration in the next few months. Facebook Live is really, really hot. Everyone's using it. The number of views are just huge. And this week there was this great, uh, yeah, let's call it a PR stunt from Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg. They had a Facebook Live with the International Space Station and uh, Mark Zuckerberg invited everyone to ask questions for the astronauts that he could ask them while he was in interaction with them. So that was pretty cool. Uh, next to that, a number of big tech companies like Google, Facebook and Microsoft agreed with the European Union that they would dive into what they call hate speeches and hate language in posts and in online forums. And if they discover them, they will figure out the system so that they can remove it so that hate is less pushed in this world. So I think that's a good thing from the big tech companies. Instagram is changing and you see that they are learning, of course, from the mothership Facebook. And they're doing more and more to become a sales platform. They're making sure that people can actually buy easier from Instagram. They got better statistics. So they're moving forward to make Instagram a money-making platform, as Mark Zuckerberg always said. You need to reach 1 billion users on a platform before you can monetize it. They are not there yet, but you can already see that they are preparing everything for the moment when they reach that huge number of users. There was a pretty big interview with Jeff Bezos from Amazon this week, and he announced that next to the bookstores that he opened up, for instance, in Seattle, physical bookstores, that they are planning to open more bookstores. There was once a rumor that we're talking about 400 bookstores, but now it was he was talking about more limited amount of stores. Uh, but the question is, what is his real goal? Does he want to have stores like physical stores, like we know bookstores, or, or are these stores um, like the end of the logistic process in delivery in the last mile. We don't really know yet, but one thing is sure, Amazon keeps on moving aggressively in the market of logistics and e-commerce. I just wanna share this important stat with you. It's one figure, but it is quite impressive. Ad blocking increased last year with 90% on mobile phones. There was also news from Airbus. They 3D printed a entire plane, it's called Torn. And it's a, actually it's a big drone, it's a four meter drone, and it already had its first flight and everything went well and it was completely 3D printed. In one of the last episodes, we talked about Hyperloop, how it's been tested in Nevada. Well, this week news came out that Russia wants to use the same methodology and put it all over the country. 
There's news about Uber again. They raised more money, uh, another 3.5 billion, 3.5 billion, and they raised it from a uh, Saudi wealth fund this time. So guys, this was a new episode of Steven's Week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're gonna have a fantastic weekend. And please share the video if you enjoyed it. Bye-bye, see you next week.